to say, we can look at this inside your body. And if you are worried about a coronary artery event, let me show you how this test predicts who's going to have a coronary artery event. Okay, so um, this is the omega-3 index, this thing we're gonna talk about, and you're gonna see me test mine right here in front of you, and the acu uh, acute coronary artery syndrome. This is called a heart attack. But looking at um, the eight of a coronary, I, I bet you I don't have an eight. Uh, I, I bet you my, uh, but I don't know. That's the whole point I'm about to make with you, is that if you have a number less than four, your chances of being uh, having an acute coronary syndrome much higher, a heart attack much higher linked uh, to uh, your situation. Um, this is another one that just shows as you went from a four, and then there was the middle zone from four to eight, and then up to eight. Uh, as you improved that score up to an eight, and we're gonna show you what that means in just a minute, uh, when they were looking at the Women's Health Initiative uh, memory study, there's a whole bunch of slides I didn't include about what it does to brains and how powerful this omega-3 is for memory and mood and rage and focus, uh, which of course is my thing, but cholesterol is what we're talking about tonight. So uh, if you look at um, multivariable adjusted risk for death from any cause, so that's a really big measurement. Uh, any cause death between the ages of 70 and 85 in over almost 6,500 postmenopausal women, you had a 31% decrease if you could increase that uh, omega-3 to greater than eight versus those who had a less than four. Um, all right, so here's like another one that says the relative risk for death from any cause. <laughs> uh, so here is the quartiles of what we were just talking about saying as you went from a four to over 6.8 is what this uh, one is on that omega-3, we're gonna test here in a minute. Uh, we could predict who was, pr who was protected uh, from a, a coronary event versus those with cholesterol, total cholesterol is what they're looking at there. That was, it was not a, a predictor and uh, especially of, of death. And you know that's something I continue to harp on is that when people call in and say, I'm, oh, my cholesterol's high, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm like, what's your waistline? What's your insulin? You know, These are several of the inflammatory markers that I've talked about in lots of other um, um, of, the, uh, of these podcasts. And when you look at the improvement in, um, the higher the uh, omega-3 index, this thing that is uh, looking at the skin of your red blood cells, the lower your inflammation was. Uh, again, the, you want a summary point for a ketogenic diet, it is uh, the anti-inflammatory diet. It removes inflammation, chronic inflammation from disease. So you look at greatest protection versus least protection. Again, the higher that number gets, you can see that eight I've been talking about is really important. You get below four, you get in that yellow zone. You get below two, that's a little, that's a little harder. Um, these are just different areas that they were checking uh, from, again, 8.1, really powerful, uh, is when you get above that, they do have the best protection. Um, let's see, this uh, again is another, uh, fatal coronary arteries, uh, those above eight had a 35% reduction. Uh, just another way to look that this is a powerful predictor. So again, um, <laughs> you look at the Americans, we're in the yellow and the red, and you look at the folks in Japan, and we talk about this all the time, that there's something hidden in the way they eat and their metabolism, that their omega-3s are much higher than ours. And when I say, well, what do you do when somebody comes in and they have a low omega-3? And it really is to increase their EPA and DHA that you can take in supplements. Uh, but also, I love the whole foods approach to this. If you can get three cans of those sardines a week or three forms of uh, an oily fish a week, uh, the protection is amazing. Look at this next slide where it says, there's that green line that says this is 8%, right? This is the folks who did really well. And when you study um, who, uh, the frequency of fish intake, <laughs> okay? I think all of the ones in the first column might have been from my family in South Dakota. So um, especially we might have walleye or catfish, but we probably wouldn't have had salmon go growing up or tuna. Uh, so none per week was my family. So those people are, you know, 4.3. The red line is actually people who took a supplement. Uh, and you can't quite see that. They kind of overlap on the top of that thing. It just says they're taking a measurable DHEA. Um, I think it was, 
it was a few grams of it. It was pretty hard, good dose. So <laughs> the only people who exceeded 8% uh, on average were the people who had not only three doses uh, of fish per week, but three doses of fish per week, and they supplemented them. And this study was 2019. So that's powerful that this is a recent study saying, oh boy, we're really bad at this. But again, you can't fix it if you don't know that it's going on. So, all right, so that brings me to this, and we are gonna show you about the omega-3 index. Uh, I am going to measure mine right here on the show. So again, um, give me just a second. Uh, we're going to go here, and I am going to use uh, this one we're gonna use. Okay, so um, I, Dr. Uh, Harris actually was, uh, one of my uh, guest lectures, which I don't do very often in my uh, support group, but he came and spoke to our group and taught about this test after I had to swallow some humble pie and say, oh my goodness, <laughs> you're in my medical community, you're my neighbor. <laughs> um, and this test has been something that uh, several have talked about. So I am going to show you how to order it, but I'm also going to test it right in front of you. So. Um, this test uh, is what they call the um, omega-3 index. It's called the complete one. And the kits come in a, um, a basic, um, and then a middle one, and then an advanced one. So you go to the website, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Um, but you will be sending this card back in with your results because this, like I started at the beginning of this podcast, this is for you to do yourself. You do not need your physician to do this. Now, you could get it covered by your insurance companies. That's not, um, it's not that you couldn't, but you don't have to. You can take control of this and measure it yourself. So, um, all right, so we're gonna take um, on this little uh, kit. So I have just emptied it out here. Um, and I am going to find my little card. All right, so dried blood spot collection instructions. I, I've read all those. I'll go through those, but you can look at them on the website. Um, we are going to take this out of the little uh, plastic bag, and it has one of our little lancets, uh, which we poke our finger with. And then um, they do want you to you know, do everything proper and <laughs> check on um, the, um, so it's gonna just give you a little gauze pad. <laughs> That's just way nicer than I am to my patients. <laughs> Like, oh, give me your finger, wipe it off quickly. Uh, so there is um, that. This is the card that's the most important though. So uh, there's a little barcode that's associated with you and it wants your name and your date of birth. And uh, like many of these home tests, we are going to do an ink blot that gets uh, that much blood onto uh, the test. And that's what I'll mail in to Dr. Harris and his team. Um, so I, as usual, am a little nervous in this, um, um, uh, on a podcast, so my fingers are cold, and uh, I just want them to be warm enough. So uh, I've got my little uh, my little lancet, uh, and ooh, pull this out. Oh yeah, this is how this one works. Okay, so take this, and then you clip it on the side. And now what we want to do is you can see there's a little drip of blood there coming out, and we are going to blot that little fella to fill up my circle. So if you notice, it's just a very absorbent uh, process. So what we're doing is we're gonna give my, a bunch of my red blood cells to Dr. Harris and his team. And um, again, the link to his uh, kit is in the show notes and um, so I've got three little dots there, but I'm gonna keep just, you really wanna make sure that you fill up the blot. They want all of that inside dot to be covered. So, um, I'll do this a couple more times. And then I'm just gonna give you a quick tour and when I get my results back, well, it takes about, um, so once you first order the kit, it says it takes about three to five days to get the kit into your home. And then um, once you get the kit sent back, you get um, a, a report about, I think it was like a week later or two weeks later. 
Um, but the cool thing is, is again, you get to see where you're at. And so <laughs> if you've fallen off some of your New Year's resolutions, and one of them is to have a better uh, amount of omega-3s in, <laughs> in your diet, and you're South Dakotan and you like beef and the only fish I get really is sardines. I mean, I do get some salmon, but it's just hard in my area. And I am, uh, I like that the sardines don't go bad. So I'm almost got it. See how it's uh, almost all the, you want the blood really full. Cause what they're gonna do is they're gonna process these red blood cells uh, and they're gonna measure how much of it is uh, the, how much of it is, um, there we go. All right, so I kind of plot that off. Okay, so I just want you to see, I've got that all nice and uh, covered. I'll fill in the rest of this. We'll put it in my envelope and we'll send it off to Dr. Harris. And when I get the results back, I will tell you my results. But what I would encourage you to do, and as this uh, little YouTube video lives out in its infinity, uh, I would love it if you, if you know your omega-3 index to share it, to say, I checked mine and here's what it is. So obviously I'm sharing mine and that is, um, I mean, that's what it is. Um, but uh, I really think uh, as a community, sharing that this is something that you can measure over time to see how well are you protecting your heart from a heart attack. And this is a much better test than a total cholesterol. Uh, you know, one of the key things about what I'm passionate about and where I really hope to take my career in the next 20 years is empowering people to take their uh, health and and take ownership but also create a community where you're doing to your community what I'm doing to you which is encouraging which is having a place to come together and not be so afraid of eating fat uh, but Im improve who you are uh, as far as your health and then measure the things that do matter uh, you know how well does your brain work right up to the end? How well do you have uh, a repair cycle uh, when you have an injury? Can you mend that really quick? Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Stay tuned.